It's time for another Sunday shout out and mail call episode. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. It's Sunday, so that means it's time for our mail call and Sunday shout out episode. We're getting really close to the one year mark. And if you think about the few weeks that I missed and the few weeks that I've combined, we're probably more at like 45 now, although we skipped a few weeks. That being said, we've got 12 packages here. I've got a couple of boxes I'm excited to get into. We've got several different flat packages, as well as even an envelope from Hockey Arcade and Coins, which we're gonna kick it off with first. As a reminder, I'll have everyone's links to their channels, if I have one, in the description down below and in my first pinned comment. All right, let's kick this bad boy off with Hockey Arcade and Coins. Hockey Arcade and Coins sent a nickel. He wants me to sign and send back. I believe that's what he wrote. Hey Rob, God bless you and Charlani so much. Please sign the nickel and send back. When I was opening the package, this was stuck to the top, so it tore it, of course. But I believe that's what he wanted me to do. So I'll get me to sign here. Shalani to sign to the right, and we'll send it back to you, brother. Appreciate the package. Thank you for blessing us, and bless you and yours as well. Next up, I have a package for Mr. Sean Maliki. So some of this I have to not show because it has address information on it, but Sean writes, Hi Rob Finds Treasure, I've been collecting coins since I was 14. Enjoy your pennies, nickels and dimes, quarters, half dollar hunting. Your melting of copper, bars and round bars. Hopefully you can send me one. Thank you, Sean. There's some information on here, but he also sent me some foreign coins. They're all Canadian and they're all from 1967. So check out what he gave me, guys. He gave me the Centennial set. I guess the collection celebrating uh, Canada's centennial anniversary. So this is a commemorative set made in 1967. We've got the bird scent here, 1967 bird scent, beautiful condition, probably will upgrade. We've got the 1967 Canadian nickel with the rabbit on the back, so cool. We've got the 1967 Canadian dime with the mackerel, holy mackerel. We've got the 1967 Canadian Quarter with, I forgot what this one is. Went ahead and looked it up. It's the Wildcat. Nice. We've got a 50 cent piece from 1967 as well. And this has got the Howling Wolf. Awesome. And the Canadian 1967, I believe silver dollar on this one. I believe this one is a silver dollar. I could be wrong. I think it is though. And this is the goose. So cool. He also included some shipping postage back and a little bit of extra cash for one of my copper bars. They're not finished bars. Hope you're okay with that. I don't have the RFT stamp on them because I said in my live stream, they're just too hard to stamp, but I can get you an unfinished RFT copper bar and I'll be sending that back to you, brother. Sean, thank you very much for the package. These are really cool. That's the whole set, and I didn't have it, so I'm very appreciative of it. Next up is a package from Thin Blue Diggers 5.0. Before I open it, just figured I'd show you Thin Blue Diggers. There is a hole there, so I don't know if something fell out, but let me go ahead and get into it. So Thin Blue Diggers 5.0 writes, Hope all is well. I've enclosed a half-pound copper bar for you to melt. We did get that, so that's good. And giveaway on your stream, sweet. For you, I've included my new channel sticker, which will open here in a second, guys. A 60p tone nickel, I do have that, we'll look at that in a second. A 2009p double thumb air, we'll have to get that classified, I can't wait to look at that. A beat up 40% half dollar, melt it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to melt that one for sure. And a nice barber dime, yes, we'll look at that as well. Man, God bless buddy and happy hunting, Nick, Thin Blue Diggers 5.0. Nick, very, very sweet, keep the videos coming, brother. Awesome package. Let's go and take a look at the goodies you sent me. First and foremost, half pound of copper. Definitely will melt it. We'll make it into a good bar for someone for sure. That's awesome. We've got a 1914P Barber Dime, and this is beautiful. Looks like you sent a 1914D. I think you meant 1914D. And I maybe you just labeled it P on the front, brother. Let me know. I will definitely take a 1914 D Barber Dime. 
Well, I guess we'll check the, the mintage on it. And I'm pretty sure that the mint is from Denver. But let me just double check real quick. All right, brother. The 1914P does have 17.3 million. The 1914D is like 11.9. So a little more rare, but the value is the same across the board for either of these. So I would love to keep the 1914D. Let me know if that was what you wanted to send me or if we need to swap it back out for a 14P. But that's a beautiful dime for sure. Here's that beat up 40 percenter. And it's a trashed 1969 Denver. Matter of fact, let me show you my 40 percent melted bar and I'll be right back. So I took my 12 worst 40 percenters and I had two 1964 90 percenters that were toast as well. So this bar is actually about 50% silver because it has 12 40 percenters and a couple of 90 percenters that I made into a kind of a beat up bar here. And yeah, really cool. It's not polished. It even still has a lot of the ugly dirt. You can see they're almost the exact same color. So maybe I'll add this guy to that and we're just going to keep on making a collection of trashed 40 percenters and trashed 90 percenters. And I'd eventually like to make a 50% huge, maybe 10 ounce constitutional silver bar. So we'll add that to the, to the trashy bar collection. I think that's really cool. Here's the 1960p toned with beautiful nickel. Yeah, that's a beauty. Let's take a look at this double thumb air. So we'll put it underneath the scope here and see if I can get a good look at it. Oh yeah, nice. Matter of fact, I don't have this one and it's one I've been looking for. This is actually, I believe Wexler's uh, identified this as the DDR02 because you have three markers on this one. One, you have the extra thumb here. You have an extra index finger sticking out here. So you have one, two, and the third marker is this line. Definitely um, the third marker. All three markers are on this one. That's without a doubt a Wexler DDR02 2009P formative years double thumb air for sure. Beautiful brother. I'll go ahead and classify that on top and add it to my airs book. Unbelievable. Now let's take a look at this uh, sticker inside and see how cool it is. Boom. Thin blue diggers 5.0. It looks like it's got the Roman helmet on there. The United States flag mixed in there. That my friend is a beauty. Happy to have it. And it's signed. Can't wait to get it in my book. Let me know if you have a sticker of mine. I'm pretty sure you do. But if you don't, I need to send you one. Wow. Thin Blue Diggers. Nick. Awesome package, brother. Really looking forward to getting that in my book. Getting that in my book. Checking that against my book. Melting that for some copper rounds or at least one round. Maybe a couple. And saving this bad boy to go along with the 40% slash 50% bar we're making. Next up is a package from Herbert Sussman. What could it be? Holy cow, what an epic package from, quotes old timer Herb Sussman. Man, check this out, guys. Rob, I've enjoyed watching your videos and live streams now for several months. I have not contributed to your channel by buying rolls as many do, although I did donate $10 via the PayPal to the Smash the Sink Fund. Yes, thank you very much, brother. So here are a few coins from my collection that you can use for giveaways. I've included three 1909 cents and one 1909 VDB cent. Boom. I also included a fairly nice 1889 Morgan dollar. I'm hoping these will find their way to some of the younger collectors on your channel who probably will never find an 09 in circulation and will certainly never get a Morgan dollar unless they buy it. I'm getting to be older now, 58, and can remember back in my early years, circa 1969, you could still find 09s of both types in circulation occasionally. I never did find any type of 09S, even though at the time I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area, Palo Alto. Yeah, that's funny. I lived in the, the Bay Area, California, Hayward, and Oakland for about uh, 35 years of my life as well, Herb. So that's, we could have been neighbors at one point. So keep up the good work. Your life streams are epic. Everyone regards Herb Sussman. Let's open these up. Herb, I cannot believe you donated this for my live streams. These are going to go off like a hit. Morgan Dollar Beautiful. And let me get these uh, 09 cents pulled out of here. So here you have it, everyone. We'll start with the Morgan Dollar right here. 1889 Morgan Dollar. 
Philadelphia, of course, but it is a beauty. So definitely we'll use that in one of my stream giveaways. We've got four 1909s. I've checked them all. These are all 1909, and there is no mint marks on them, of course. If there was, I was going to alert Herbert of them. All four of these don't have the VDB. Now, I know you sent, you said you sent three 09 cents and one VDB. You actually sent four 09s and an 09 VDB. So you sent me an extra one. So it sounds like we've got an extra giveaway. I'll get these all sleeved up and credit you with them, Herbert, for sure. So a 1909 VDB right here. Beautiful. You can see the VDB on the bottom. It's a beautiful wheat penny. And then four regular ones. So a bonus one, I guess. And the silver. Unbelievable. Herb, I'm hoping they make their way to Young Collectors as well. On my random giveaways, we never can for sure pinpoint who wins them. But with the chance of having six giveaways now, I'm sure several will get into the hands of Young Collectors. Brother, what a package for my stream giveaways. You're the man. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the kindness and the generosity that you've done for the coin community. Next up, I have a mystery package. So don't know who it's from, but let's get into it. So the mystery package is from Penny Hunter. Dear RFT, I hope you get this note. If you do, I want to thank you for the great videos. You got me into hunting nickels. I have only hunted $140 in nickels, but in that $140, I have found two silver war nickels and a couple of more oldies. Beginner's luck? Well, that's a great start for sure, brother. I have been watching for a while now and every video is so entertaining. <laughs> My 12th birthday is today and this will be a great present if this gets into the video. Well, it's in the video. Hopefully the date's good and it is your birthday. Either way, happy birthday, Penny Hunter. Let's keep reading the note and then check out the cool coins you sent. I hope you enjoy the coins I sent you. By the time you get this note, I should have my first video up. Keep up the good videos and happy hunting. P.S. You can use some of the coins I sent you for giveaways. So let's see what he sent us. Ooh, hold on. A really cool foreign coin. Wow, I'm not familiar with that. You guys will let me know. I don't want to take it off the tape just yet. But if you know what it is, let me know. We've got, an oh, a centavo. Beautiful. Fray Bartolome de las Casas. A 59D. Love those. And a 69S in great shape. And obviously not the DDO, which I would expect you not to send me. But I will check that against my album, see if I got any better ones than that. I don't think I do because my 69S in my album is not as nice as it could be. And that one's a stunner. Penny Hunter. Happy birthday. Thanks for the package. Hopefully it's your birthday today and you're getting to watch this during your birthday. Wow, great package, brother. Next up, we have a box from VC Coins Nevada. So we've got a really cool package from my friend Ben from VC Coins Nevada. He writes, hey Rob, how are you? Sorry this took so long, my friend. Enclosed is your channel bar that I poured. I also added some more things in the package for you to keep or give away. Your choice, my friend. I also enclosed my sticker for you to keep or give away. Thanks, Ben, VC Coins Nevada, and I'm keeping your sticker, brother. It's too beautiful, but either way, I love it. If I do have an extra one, maybe I'll use it on one of my live stream giveaways, but it's so nice, it's hard to give those away. He also gave me a big stack of star notes, and then I wanna check out this channel bar next. So check it out, guys. I've finally got my very own VC Coins Nevada 2.2 ounces channel bar. Bar number 18 as well with his VC Coins Nevada gravestone on there. Oh my gosh, this is a beauty. Great pour, brother. Smooth edges as well. Holy cow. What a stunner. Awesome. I've been wanting one of these. I'll add it to my channel bar collection. Thank you very much, Ben. And then he gave me some copper rounds. I think I might have a couple of these. And if I do, I'll use them for giveaways. Any one that I don't have, I'm going to add to my collection. I don't think I have this. But you know what? I, I believe I do have that one. I think I have all of these. And I have a large 1909S VDB. But I don't think I have the small one. 
So I'm probably going to keep this one for myself. One ounce, three nines fine copper. Beautiful copper rounds. And then check it out. A roll of 69D uncirculated pennies right here. Wow. So I'll be going through those, checking those for any varieties myself. And then I won't open up this one. This is a 2005 Westward Journey. This is the Bison series. Goodness gracious. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just going to add this straight to the collection here, Ben. I, it's one of my favorite nickels. So I'll be adding that in, checking for errors in there. Maybe I'll hand some of those out. But definitely, definitely, what a great package. And I'm most stoked about this beautiful silver bar from VC Coins Nevada. Unbelievable. And you gave me number 18. So cool. Ben, thanks again for the awesome package. I'll be checking these star notes for their rarities. I'm sure you've already done that, but I'll be looking anyway. And I'll be seeing which of these items I can use for some giveaways and which ones will sit in my collection. But we know the bar and we know the bisons will be sitting in the collection for sure. All right, next up, we've got a package from Wyatt. Let's see what it is. So Wyatt writes, Hi Rob, my name is Wyatt Plavin and I'm a sophomore in college. I live in Michigan and get Canadian coins in my change at least once a day. I watch your videos quite often and sometimes I find myself watching for hours in a row. Holy cow, thank you very much, brother. I was wondering if you were planning to do some more metal detecting soon. I just did one and I will do a lot more this year. I tried to get back into metal detecting, but winter feels like it starts in October and ends in April. Yeah, up there in Michigan, brother, your season is a lot shorter than mine. Anyway, I've included a 47 Maple Leaf Mint Marked Canadian Nickel that I got back in my change. I've also included some Romanian money my brother brought back from deployment. Holy cow. Okay, thank you very much for sharing your brother's uh, coins with me. I, I can't believe you did that. Wyatt, that's very kind of you, and I will keep those in my collection. You can keep those for yourself or for giveaways. No, man, I'm going to keep those. That's special for you, so I'm going to keep them in my collection. Thank you for the entertainment. Happy hunting, Wyatt. And by the way, there's Instagram, and I'll have that link down below, guys, at Wyatt Plavon Instagram. All right. So let's take a look at this O Canada 47 Maple Leaf Nickel. And you can tell it's the Maple Leaf Nickel because right after the date, you got a Maple Leaf right there. There's actually a few different varieties. You can get one with no Maple Leaf, one with a dot, or one with a Maple Leaf. Really cool. And for those that are wondering, 100% Nickel right here. Really cool. Looks like we've got a 2006 Romanian 50 Bonnie. Beautiful. And also a 10 Bonnie from Romania 2016. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I think it's Bonnie. Could be Bainy. Could be Banny. Who knows? Well, the Romanians know. That's awesome. Very cool package, Wyatt. Shout out to your Instagram. I have these to my collection. Much love, brother. Thanks for the package. All right. Next up is a package from the Ebert family, huh? Let's check it out. So Parker Ebert writes, Dear RFT, sorry I couldn't ship more, but the coin I gave was the only 64 pre-foreign he has. See you next time. Follow Parker, guys, at, with a TikTok, at Pico the Real, and on YouTube, Pico Dimo. Pretty cool, Parker Ebert. And he sent me a Government of India. Look at this beauty. Coin from 1953. One one piece, right? Pice? Pice? One piece? Could be that. Beautiful stallion on the back, too. I'm not so sure I have many of these. Maybe a couple? So I'll take it for sure. And don't worry about the number of coins you sent me. You sent me something cool. I got to open it on my mail call. I'm happy to have it. Shout out to your Instagram and YouTube. And he also said, please send me a sticker and any 1919D wheat pennies I have. I'll pull one out for you, brother. I'll ship it back to you at your address. And thanks for your package. And I can't wait till you get mine. All right. Next package. Robert E. Lee. Dear Rob, sending you some finds that I found in a coin machine. The package with the silver dime with it came out of the coin machine. So that's this package right here, guys. Of note, the coolest couple of things is, look at this 1917. Large scent Canadian. Beautiful. And... 
course, you can't get mad at silver. A 1959 Denver U.S. Silver Rosie. Bunch of other goodies in here, including some funny little money, like this school money right here. Ha, really cool. It's basically plastic. It doesn't weigh anything. And then this other one as well. So, really cool. Matter of fact, what is this one right here? Two francs, maybe? 1944, beautiful. All right, and then he said, I thought you might like them. The other package was found by me, coin roll hunting a penny box. My favorite is penny roll hunting as I've been doing that for a while. I always have good finds in my area at Chase Banks. So that's this one right here. Of note, a 1920 Canadian one cent, beautiful. And I thought I would show you guys this, a 1947, just like the nickel we saw earlier, this is the 47 with the maple leaf after it. That's really cool. I have one of those, but I like having a second one. And then obviously, who doesn't love seeing toned Indian heads? 1899. Beauty. Add that to the collection as well. This is my second letter to you. I always learn interesting things from you, and it's helped me a lot about coins and what to look for. Also, there are some proofs for you to have for yourself or if you want to do the giveaway as it is up to you. And he did set a couple of proofs here. They're clad proofs, but it's an 83 and a 94 half dollar. Really cool. I try to watch your live streams and when it's on, I watch till I have to go to work. Then I catch up on your videos when I come home from work. I'm also a metal detector hunter. I'm waiting on warmer spring weather to come here in Ohio. Yeah, and it's been a cold winter in Ohio this year, hasn't it? You and your wife do a great job with your live streams together. Thanks for all your videos, Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee, thanks for the kind words. Thank you for the really cool coins. I'll have to check them against the collection. Love this Canadian Largy 1917. Love silver, of course. A lot of other cool finds, especially some of the older Canadian pennies there. Some other foreigns, and of course, an Indian head. And who can get mad at that? Proof half dollars. Unbelievable, brother. Robert, thanks for the second time you sent me a letter. Appreciate your support of the channel and for the community. And I'll wrap up some of these for some giveaways for sure. All right, next up we have a couple of packages from Jeremy Cooper, also known as Coin Hunting with Coop on YouTube. So I believe some of these are for trades. I'll take a look at those. And then finally we have a box from Oscar's collection. Let's get into these two first. So there's four different envelopes in the two different packages. This one says open first, so let me get it open. Wow, coin hunting with Coop. We got a lot going on here, guys, so let me go ahead and just jump right into it. First and foremost, for me, he sent me a beautiful series of 1928 Red Seal $5 bill. Unbelievable. Beautiful banknote, brother. And on the back, check it out. A star note silver certificate from 1957. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll be adding these to my collection. Love old banknotes, especially when they're red seals and silver certificates. And bonus with a star note. Thank you very much. I do want you to know that I did open off camera your trade request. And I will get you an email sent back regarding it. I do think it's a fair trade. So I will let you know. He's got a package here for the giveaways. But I'll open that last. Let me read the note. Hey Rob, the coin hunting legend, my family and I loved your Sunday mail shout out. We are very happy you enjoyed the coins we sent. Inside you'll find two Lincoln pennies, a 1909 tone and an unknown year. Could you please give me your opinion on the condition of the 09 tone and sign the flip and resend it to me? Thank you. Don't freak out, but the other penny looks like it could be a 1909S. The coin has a different look to it, lamination or destroyed, I really can't tell. If you could sign the two flips and send them back to me, I would really appreciate it a lot. Thank you. And he did send me replacement flips and a few dollars for postage to send those back. We'll get into those in just a second. Let me show you a few other things he sent. He said to add to your collection, beautiful Canadian nickel. And this one is 1884. Beautiful. I'll be adding that to my collection for sure. Now you wrote on here, 150 year old American coin for my collection. Look at this guys. It's my first. It is a US two cent coin. 1865 two cent coin. 
beautiful. These are issued from 1864 to 1873, and I believe the 1873s were just proofs. Matter of fact, the hardest coin to get from the two cent series is the 1864, but then it came out with a large motto instead of the small motto like the 1864 original run. This is a very nice example. I agree that it's uh, fine details. On these coins, you want to be able to read In God We Trust, and you can read In God and Trust, and the we is a weak strike there. So if it was very fine, it would be a lot better strike on we, or at least a lot better legibility on we. So this is between fine 12 and very fine 20. Beautiful coin, probably worth 15 to 20 dollars in this condition. Awesome coin to add to the collection. He's got a, he wrote a note here, by the way, caution, do not open near any sinks, ha, ha, ha. And it looks like he sent me a bunch of nickels, so let me bust these open real quick and we'll take a look at the goodies in there. So beautiful set of war nickels, a whole bunch of 43 and 44 P and S's, but you did send me a 43 D. These are hard to find. I've only found two ever coin roll hunting. One's in my book and I gave one away. So appreciate it, brother. Very nice. Not a key date, but just a harder to come across war nickel. I think only 15 million of these bad boys minted. So beautiful. Love to have it to my collection. And check it out. Three Liberty head nickels, a 1901, 1906, and a 1907. And obviously these are also referred to as the V nickel because on the back you got the V for five. Beautiful. So three more V nickels for my collection, brother. So cool. Love it very much. And I didn't open it near sinks. All right. Before I get to these mystery coins, the 1909s and the other date you want me to check, I'm going to put those to the side for now. I think the last thing we need to open up, if I recall, is for the giveaways on the channel. So let me go ahead and open that package next. So really cool. We got some uh, OPA tokens here. These are ration tokens. They used them during World War II. Kind of like food stamps nowadays, but families were gifted these in little booklets and they used them to exchange for sugar, beef, I think flour, things like that, staples. So really cool. Those are cool tokens right there. And then an Abe Lincoln, really nice looking, shiny as can be, commemorative token, I guess, as well. I think this is just plated. I'm not quite sure. Either way, nice gift for someone. I'll add those to the next live stream. All right, now that we've looked at all those goodies, let's take a look here. First, he says he has a 1909 toned that he wanted me to give my thoughts on on the grading. I will have to take it out of here and look at it under the microscope, but at first glance, it looks like it has been cleaned, in my opinion, and or artificially toned and polished. So if that's the case, based on what it looks like, I say it's probably G4 or VG8 condition with the designation of cleaned. It looks nicer than it's going to grade for sure. That's the problem. I'll put it in a flip. I think it's probably G4 cleaned. That's my guess. But I'll look at it under the loop. And then this one, please help with the year lamination. All right, we're going to pull this out of the package. This could very well possibly be eh, could be a 1909, but man, that O is pretty dinged up pretty good. Let me pull it out of the flip and look at it under the scope. Well, I've studied for about five minutes, man, and this is going to be a 1909. That is an O. It's been dinged up and damaged like the coin has just been chewed up. But you can see the outline, the clear outline of an O here under the microscope. Most certainly, in my opinion, that's a 1909S. Now, obviously, the question is, is it going to have the VDB on there? And we'll have to look for that here in a second. Just looking at the rest of the strike, this thing is chewed up pretty good. Let's check for the VDB on it as well. So obviously there is no VDB whatsoever on this coin. Nothing. We would have we would see more indication of it here. You got if I back this up, here's the two bottom of the wheat lines 
the VDB would be sitting right about here. And yes, there's damage. So in certain ways, if you're staring for a VDB, you might be able to put, pick it out like dinosaurs in the clouds, but it is not there. I don't see anything that even suggests there was a VDB there. That being said, now that we know that it's for sure a 1909S, I would bring it into a coin shop and have them look at it even further for any of the die markers on a 1909S VDB, just in case the damage has done something where we just can't see any of the detail. But I'm pretty sure it's not there. Either way, this condition is absolutely terrible, unfortunately. And if we can get it confirmed to be a 1909S in this shape, it's probably about good. Maybe you could squeeze out a good four just because some of the other elements are decent, like In God We Trust and Liberty. And if you look at the back, you can make out everything. It's, it's not worn smooth, but still, the damage is extensive. It might even been cleaned at one point because it does have some good luster to it. But I'm not sure that that's not been cleaned and it made it look that way. To any extent, yeah, 1909S, definitely a good book filler. In G4 condition, these things are about 40 to 50 bucks minimum. Red Book will tell you it's $75, but I don't, I don't see them sell for that much. And in this condition, you'll be lucky to get 50 bucks for it if you were to sell it. But if you don't have it in your album, just like I don't, it's a good find either way. I'll sleeve it up. My best guesstimate is a 1909S, no VDB, and probably, if I'm being polite, G4 condition. Let me get the toned one out of the slip as well. So here's the toned one. And you know what? The more I look at it, I don't think, I don't know if it's been cleaned. I feel like it's just been artificially toned. Either way, you're right. It is a beautiful 1909. 1909, no VDB. If it hasn't been altered, and again, I believe it has. Based on this, what I'm seeing here, this might even pass for fine 12, F12. Man, the strike is good on In God We Trust, though, isn't it? It's beautiful. But I'm going to say it's F12. You might squeak out a very fine 20 out of this. But again, that's if it hasn't been altered. I'm going to put it down as an F12 toned. And there's going to be an asterisk there, buddy, because it could also be artificially toned or cleaned. It's beautiful, though. And I would take it all day. Let me get these sleeved up and I'll get you a wrap up. Well, here you go, brother. 1909 tone, F12 to VF20 if you're lucky. Put a little thing down there that says clean. I'm not quite sure. That's just for your record so that you can get it checked out even further. On this 1909S, man, I'm being a little stingy. I'm calling it G4, maybe a about good too. At the end of the day, it's damaged and it's really hard to ensure the uh, grading on this. Again, I'm being stingy a little bit, but I have to be on some of the key or date items. Still, beautiful penny. I would take it all day. Again, I do recommend, since I'm not a professional grader, you get these looked at by a local coin shop or someone you know who is a professional grader. Also want to thank you for the rest of your package, stuff for the giveaways. I haven't forgot about the trade, brother. I'll keep you in the loop on that. And Jeremy, Coin Hunting with Coop, thank you very much for the awesome goodies. And I'll be sending these back to you along with the trade. Final package is a big box from Oscar's collection. Well, everyone, Oscar is up to it again. Oscar from Oscar's collection wrote, Rob, in this package, I threw some things together, but it's not just for you. There's a lot of things for the coin community. I added a few things for you, but almost everything is for the community. I hope everyone likes what I put together for giveaways. The more likes, the more rewards. Your friend, Oscar. So he's got a couple of things here. Do not open until Tuesday's live stream. And then do not open until Friday's live stream before 50 likes giveaway. All right, so we got Tuesday live stream giveaways. I can't open it until Tuesday. I would assume you want this open for my 
pre-stream video. Let me know if, they, if you don't want it for that. And then same with this one, before 50 likes giveaway. So I don't know if there's other giveaways in here after 50 likes, but it sounds like there is. So I'll probably end up opening these for the pre-stream video. And I'll keep it a secret, but just to make sure I'm set up for the giveaways. On top of that, we've got five envelopes and a sixth one for Living Room Pander. So that's cool. So he wrote, number one is old foreign. Number two, something that needs to retire. Number three is copper. Number four is local copper. And number five, something fake but cool. Bam. All right, Oscar. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm ready to dive in. Let me get the list set up over here so I can see it. First thing is, number one, old foreign. Let's check it out. Boom. A 1906 Canadian large scent, a 1907 Canadian large scent, and a 1910 Canadian large scent. Wow, I didn't have hardly any of these a week ago, and now I've got several of them. Beautiful, brother. Thank you very much for the Canadian large scents. Number two, something that needs to retire. These poor Washingtons need to retire. One is a star note, other I thought was cool. Someone wrote hello from a state. So here's the star note. Needs a retirement home. We've got one. We'll add them there. Thank you, Oscar. And someone wrote hello from Newman, Georgia, 12, 10, 16. Boom. All right, let's get these bad boys retired. Love it. Envelope three, copper. Beautiful copper round from the World of Dragon series. This is coin number two in the series. The first one was the Aztec. This is the Welsh. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Glad to have it, brother. Thank you very much. Four is local copper. Let's check out some local copper. Not loco, loco. Oh, I love it. The Copper State mined in Arizona. Three nines fine. Beautiful. Always love some local copper. Thank you very much, Oscar. Five, something fake but cool. Let's check it out. I bought a collection a few years back. He had Hot Wheels and coins. These were with the collection. They are not real. Not 100% sure, but I believe it's a counterfeit, but it's cool to look at. And guys, he's talking about a couple of coins here. One is this coin, the seven mace and two candorines. And yeah, this one's fake. It says Hipe Province instead of Hupe Province. That's to be H U dash P E H Province. And definitely a fake dollar coin from China. Matter of fact, if this is silver like it should be, it shouldn't stick to a magnet. And it does. The good news is these replica ones, these tokens, as they're referred to when they're fake like this, are still pretty collectible. I don't think there is much silver content or if any in the replicas but that's still a cool coin to look at man imagine if it was the real deal and then the second offering up here is a 416 900 one yen wow in good condition these are worth several thousand dollars if it was real but again yeah again this doesn't look as legit as it should The wreath almost looks too close to the edges, but more importantly, if it was silver, it wouldn't stick. Either way, couple of cool foreigns to add to the collection. I'll do a little more research on them just to make sure I'm not misquoting you, but, but yeah, I'm 90% sure these are not the real deal at all. Still beautiful looking replicas for sure. Wow, well, I don't wanna open up Living Room Panner's package. It's for him. I'd rather him be surprised. Probably some tokens for him. You guys know he collects them. And I can't open those until the live streams. So if you want to know what's inside the Tuesday stream envelope, wait for Tuesday stream. And if you want to know what's inside Friday's envelope, wait for Friday's stream. Oscar, yeah, I did yourself again, brother. I love dope doing your mail calls with the envelopes. You're such a generous and caring individual for the coin community. Please, guys. Check out Oscar's collection. He doesn't upload a lot of videos, but let's give him some love and support in the comments for sure at least. Well, another epic mail call here on the Sunday. Can't believe the generosity of the coin community. I got goodies for me again, goodies for other coin members, and goodies for the community.
Unbelievable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sunday shout out mail call episode. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.